What do you do when you get to where you're going to pick up and the load just isn't what you expect and you can't do the job? Let's have a look and then we're going to talk about my VAT problems. Morning everybody, I hope you're all well. Uh, a bit more positive this week than last week. I am doing a bit better, I'm pleased to say. Um, what I'm uh, talking about now is when you go to a job and the, the load won't just pick on fit on your van at all, uh, which has just happened to me now. So uh, I'll explain how I've dealt with it, um, which I think will be the fairest way in my opinion. I've just been to a builder's merchants on behalf of a quite a big shipper, uh, going to Birmingham, quoted the price, we've agreed the price, I've turned up and the items are far too large for a long wheelbase van. Um, it was insulation and the pallets are extremely tall. The weight is not an issue, it's the size, the bulk of the load. I'll show you a picture now of the pallets. So as you can see, the big buggers, and there was three of those. Now, three would fit on the van lengthways, of course, but they won't fit on the van at that height. In fact, even if you took the top layer off, they would still be too tall. Those are over 2.4 metres high, so no use. I did, when I got there, and I said to the um, customers, look, I can, we could split the pallets and I could get quite a lot on, but we wouldn't get all of them on. Um, you've got a choice what you're going to do. I'll ring the shippers now and tell them and they can ring you back and give you the options. So what I've done, I've rang the shippers, sent them a picture of the items, explained the dilemma and said that, you know, I could fit quite a lot of those on my van if they want on as loose loads. But if they want them all on the pallets, then their only option really would probably be a seven and a half tonner or a very, very tall uh Luton you know curtain cider or something either way it's going to be more expensive but they said give us five minutes we'll ring the customers speak to them and we'll ring you back and the upshot was they've decided to go for the seven and a half tonner which left me obviously without a job now in fairness to the shipper they said what do you want for calling out and all i've said is look i want a call out charge and the contribution towards the mileage it took me to get here and I asked for a call out charge of £25 and a tenner for the uh, the mileage, which I felt was fair. And they obviously agreed because they've sent me an edited thing through. So that'll do. And now I've just bid for another job and I've got it, but it's not for half an hour. So I thought I could send this little video through. So that's what happened with me. I didn't lose out. I get the disappointment of missing out on that job. But at least I get £35 for my time. The fee's quite busy. I've picked up another job quite quickly. So we're happy. Just. <laughs> but what I wanted to talk about was something that um, James from Foddy Fletcher had mentioned about being VAT registered and the problems it can or can't cause. I'm having problems on VAT. I've been trading now as a limited company since the latter end of June and I applied to register for VAT when I first set up. I received a letter from the uh, HMRC to say they acknowledge my application and I'll hear from them in a minimum of 30 days. Now after 30 days I hadn't heard anything so I did telephone them. It was a nightmare to get through to them I was on the phone for literally an hour and a half. And when I eventually got through, I was simply told, no, these applications can now take in up to two months. No explanation why, just it can take up to two months. So it was left then for two months, which was like last week. And my accountant rang me and said, have you heard anything yet? Because we've just done one for a new customer and they got it in 30 days. I said, I haven't. I'll try and ring them. Try to ring them, the usual palaver, you get through press one for this, press two for that. Eventually, after being on hold for again, almost an hour, 
I spoke to a human being to be told, no, this is not the department you want, I'll transfer you. I was cut off. It's so frustrating getting through to them. It's a nightmare. I even went into my gateway ID and decided I'll try and submit another application then. Went through all the rigmarole that you do when you submit an application for VAT, only at the end to be told, we've already got an application in process. Go away. So I'm in limbo land. I cannot charge VAT on my jobs so for me personally it's probably at least a hundred pound a week I'm missing out on because if I go on the flat rate VAT scheme I can't claim any VAT back on my fuel if I go on full VAT I can't do anything all I can do is pay full price for fuel and charge without VAT now I'm making money on that basis but I could make more money and now so I've got this dilemma now because one of the people who watched the channel did message me and say, look, you might be retrospectively charged VAT on the jobs that you've already put in, which quite frankly, I'm appalled at. How the hell can they come to me and say, we want the VAT on them jobs when I haven't charged it in the first place because I haven't got a VAT number. So I've had to email the accountant and said, look, look into this and find out because I need to know if this is going to happen. Because I'll withdraw the VAT application and I'll carry on as I am. I'm not doing that. Because can you imagine if I go back to customers and say, oh, I'm sorry about this, but you know that bill I sent you two months ago for £100? Well, I want another £20 now. They're just going to tell me to get lost. There's no way I can collect that money. That's stupid. So... This is my dilemma. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm giving it to the end of this week, which is tomorrow. If I still haven't received a VAT number, the only thing I can do is I'm going to write a letter to HMRC, of complaint, of course, and I'm going to send it recorded delivery, special delivery. Whether they'll actually, at least I can say that they've received it. Um... I can't seem to find an email address I can contact them. They just make it really difficult for you to contact them. And it also, not being VAT registered, is holding me back. Because I did have kind of loose plans about trying to develop maybe a couple of end users. And I actually have been approached by somebody. But I need to be VAT registered to do that. So the whole thing is a bit of a farce. And we'll have to wait and see what happens. So watch this space. I'll keep you informed. So if you are thinking of coming on, and plenty of you are because you messaged me, sort your VAT out before you come on because you might end up like me in a bit of a pickle. Anyway, never mind. Let's just carry on. Business has been brisk. And I've got a lovely job booked in for tomorrow, an ADR job as well. So the week itself will be a, a decent earning week, I'm glad to say. Everybody take care. Everybody who's subscribed so far to this channel, I thank you very much. And if you are watching it and you're not subscribed and you do like it, please consider subscribing. It just gets my videos out there a bit more. Thanks a lot and take care.